There is no evidence to break the universe before the Big Bang.
hide the starlight, nor reflected light, nor dust that was heated up and radiated up. Each and every explanation that was tried was refuted by the data. The spectrum of this cosmic afterlife was too perfect to flat flat too equal in all directions, and too unfolded to the matter of the universe to line up with these alternative explanations. While science moved on to the Big Bang becoming a part of the consensus, i.e. a sensible starting point for future science, Hoyle and his ideological allies worked to hold back the progress of science by advocating for scientifically untenable alternatives. Ultimately, science based on law of contrariness became more and more relevant, with their trivially indirect work fading into obscurity and their research programs eventually ceasing on their deaths. In the meantime, from the 1960s up through the 2000s, the sciences of astronomy and astrophysics, and particularly in the subfield of cosmology, which focuses on the history, growth, evolution, and fate of the universe, grew spectacularly. We mapped up a large scale structure, discovering a great cosmic web. We discovered how galaxies grew and evolved, and how their stellar populations inside changed in time. Thank you. 
it creates a uniform universe to an enormously high degree, where the expansion rate has a total energy density to match perfectly. And it makes novel predictions about the types of structure and the initial temperature and density fluctuations that should appear. Predictions that have subsequently been worn out to be corrected by observation. Inflation predictions were largely teased out in the 1980s, while the observational evidence that validated it has kind of tripped to the stream for the past 30 years. Although alternatives abound, none are as successful as inflation. Unfortunately, a Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, although was worth on general relativity, lacked evidence, and singularities in the 1960s and 1970s was absolutely Nobel worthy. By promoting a vast new scientifically inferior alternative, his pet idea of a conformal cyclic cosmology, or CCC, the biggest predictive difference is that the CCC pretty much requires that an element of the universe before the Big Bang show itself in both the universe's large scale structure and in the cosmic microwave background. The Big Bang's left to left to contrary inflation demands that anywhere inflation Big Bang devices must be causally disconnected from and cannot interact with any prior, current, or future such creatures. Our universe exists in properties that are independent of one another. The observations first from Hope and WMAP and more recently from Planck definitively place enormously tight time strains to the limits of the data that exists on any such structure. There are no bruises on the Guard ourselves against these.